you guys can all see that. We're, we're back in the game, but don't worry, we're not playing. I'm just um, showing you an example of what I'm going to explain here. It's so simple. It is so easy. So typically when we do font colors, we think of it as all, you know, one color, and we use our whatever. We use our, our little uh, font menu up here in our home tab where we right click and we change the font color. But sometimes you might want to just change one little piece of that text string. So this is all in one, well, it's a merge cell, but even if it were all in one cell, you'd have the same issue. And really, this, the, the only um, thing I can tell you is so freaking easy. Uh, all you have to do is just up here in the formula bar, highlight just the piece of text that you want to make a different color, and then from your favorite menu, just apply that color. Right? And then you hit Enter. And there you go. Now that's the. Uh, now you can of course do you know different font sizes, and you can make something italic and not italic. Um, now, if you want to get a little fancier about this, you might be wondering actually why would I ever use this other than playing wait wait don't excel me when you want to emphasize a part of the clue that nobody got anyway. Um, well, I have used this, and here's a practical application. I have um, I've changed. Uh, server names, et cetera, to protect the innocent. But this was actually something I built for a fairly advanced um, Excel person. Uh, but they weren't so advanced that they, they knew how to do, you know, uh, for example, what I was doing here, with, which was using SQL code in BBA. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to give the end user, and by the way, Ken might be saying, SQL, you don't need that. You can do Power Query. But anyway. Oh, I love uh, SQL. I digress. Love SQL. Great stuff. <laughs> So what I what I use this technique for, and, and the reason I'm I'm showing you this is to, to illustrate the point of where you could use a more practical application of this partial font, uh, you know, color scheme here. Is notice how I have start date and end date in red here. The reason I put start date and end date in there is because the person who was using this template was reasonably skilled enough that I trusted them to modify SQL code. But I didn't trust them to, you know, modify the back end of the model. So all they would have to do is go in and change. They would look for the red highlighted text and then just literally change those pieces, and then they would be able to run their uh, SQL code, um, and it would import a bunch of stuff into the to the worksheet, which we don't obviously far too detailed to get into for this particular tip. But what I wanted to um, mention to you is you can use VBA to specify certain keywords, like I had here, start date and end date, and basically say, hey, if you find something that contains one of these reserved words, make those, make those particular characters red. And how did I do that? I can actually, I can provide a sample. If uh, you are so interested, we could have this up on the Excel TV website. But it was a very handy, um, thing to do if you're if you're doing anything with um, SQL uh, and VBA kind of integration. Um, it was a very cool thing to uh, to build in. So that is um, that is partial font colors in a string of text in a single cell. Those are those are things I know. So, that, so thank you Sylvia. We'll get that uh, up on the website as part of a blog post along with the video and maybe uh, so everyone can download that. So thank you.